Hey everybody, this is Brian. Welcome to the 18th LAMP tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing multi-dimensional arrays. I promise the last of the array tutorials. I know that we've kind of beaten this up a little bit. Um, arrays are an important part of any programming language. So let's dive right in. What is a multi-dimensional array? Well, let's think back. An array is a value, or I should say a variable, that holds multiple values. So what's a multi-dimensional array? Well, it's a, you guessed it, a variable that holds other arrays. How does that work exactly? Here's our variable, families, and it is an array, this whole big chunk, and the first value in the, or I should say the first index in the array, because this is a associative array, it is actually an array in itself. I know that sounds confusing, but don't worry, we're going to cover this. Let's open up your trusty IDE, and let's just say pet owners equal array we'll say Brian and we're going to make this an array we'll say shakes not shanks, derp. Yeah, I'm naming my cats. These are not their full names. And uh, laser thingy. That's one of the cat's toys. Did I actually misspell laser? I did. Oh my gosh. You got to be talented when you misspell laser. I call laser thingy one of the pets because I have to constantly feed it batteries to keep the cats occupied. All right, now we're going to say Heather, my daughter. And let's say she's got a uh, an array. And let's say her pet is fishy. She's got a pet fish. And then let's just say Mike. I cannot spell today at all. Mike's got an array of pets. And let's say he's got doggy because he's got a dog. And you can tell I'm really creative with names here. And mm, let's give him a really unique pet, like uh, what was that thing I call? Oh yeah, Liger. It's a combination between a lion and a tiger. Those actually do exist. They're quite freaky if you've ever seen one. So, wow, let's look at the syntax of this thing. As you've guessed it, working with multi-dimensional arrays comes with its own headaches. I mean, look at the syntax of that. You misspell one little thing and that whole variable is just shot. So, how do you access items in a multi-dimensional array? Well, I'm glad you asked. So let's just keep it simple here, and we'll say Brian, whoops, case sensitive, and let's just say we want to access the first item in here, shakes, that's our first item. And then if you wanted to access the second one, remember this is a zero based index, failure, and then third one, laser thingy. Now, let's grab Heather here. And let's grab the first one in Heather. Now let's grab the second one in Heather. Uh-oh, there's nothing there. But you can see how Heather's array only has one item. That is another interesting question, is how do you tell how many things are in an array? Well, you use the function called count. You see, the syntax for count is count the number of elements in a variable, usually an array, and it's a mixed variable. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say, copy this little guy. So you're grabbing the first value that matches Heather. So what it's doing is it's going to pet owners. It's grabbing, okay, here's the first value. Is that gotten a label of Heather? No. So then 
Here's the, another one. Does it have a label of Heather? Yes, so it grabs that one. And then it says, okay, what is the value for that value? Well, this is an array. We can prove that it's an array by simply printing it out. Now let's give this a more meaningful example. So we are echoing out the Heather index, the first value in that multi-dimensional array, which is fishy. See, right here, fishy. And then we're just echoing out the Heather index, or I should say the Heather value, which is this right here. What that's saying is, it's an array, so you know this is an array. And then we're going to count the elements in that array, Heather, one. So let's grab Mike here. We haven't done anything with Mike, so let's plug Mike in there and see what happens. Notice how it says doggy, because doggy is the first element in the Mike array. And then we're going to grab that, and it's showing that this is an array. We could put strings, integers, whatever we want, but it's important to note that it's printing out array, which means it knows. Um, PHP is a typeless programming language, I meaning it doesn't really care what you put into a value or into a variable. You can put an integer, a string, a double, a single, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Doesn't care, but it keeps track internally, and that's what it's saying: is Hey, I know that's an array. And then we're saying how many items are in the Mike array? Two pretty complex subject and I have to admit multi-dimensional arrays in the real world um, really aren't used too heavily. There are better programming um, ways of doing things but we're not going to cover those just yet. So that's all for now. This is Brian. Thank you for watching.